The Connecticut River is the longest in New England, and it's getting a big financial boost for ecosystem restoration. Adam Sullivan tells us how much and who stands to benefit. It is an $11.5 million award to the Connecticut River Conservancy, which is the largest in the organization's 72-year history. The 410-mile river that stretches from Canada to the Atlantic Ocean is as majestic as it is massive. We consider ourselves lucky. Roy and Ellen Knights have lived on the Connecticut River in Lyme, New Hampshire for more than 30 years. To watch the transformation of the fog in the morning lift and, and the birds and the blue herons, the eagles. We watched the beaver swimming back and forth from here to the island. Um, I caught a snapping turtle running across our lawn. <laughs> and work is underway to make sure the river's natural beauty is protected. The Connecticut River Conservancy has been awarded a grant for just under $11.5 million from the USDA's Regional Conservation Partnership Program. The direct beneficiaries of this grant are going to be farmers and private landowners. The Conservancy will be working with on-site contractors in all New Hampshire counties that abut the Connecticut to help landowners become more resilient in a changing climate. One goal is to reduce nitrogen and sediment entering the waterway. We'll be doing stream bank stabilizations, uh, we'll be doing forest management planning, removing obsolete dams and culverts, and planting uh, riparian areas with native trees and shrubs. The organization is dedicated to clean water and healthy habitats. That's something this couple has a personal stake in as well. Certainly, it's great that they got it and it was designated as one of the, I guess, 12 scenic rivers in the United States. The money will be spent over the next five years. However, officials say the restoration work will be felt downriver for generations. Reporting from Lyme, New Hampshire, Adam Sullivan, Channel 3 News.